Welcome to another video and today's vehicle of choice is the BMW E39 M5. So today I'm meeting with a good friend of mine, Leonard, and uh, we're having a look at his M5. The E39 is probably my all-time favorite car. I've been wanting to drive the M5 E39 for quite some time and hopefully today Leonard is gonna let me drive it. I'm really excited about it and yeah, let's have a look at the car, see how it's inside, what options it has and what else Leonard can tell us about it. So you, you're a drifter as well, you're a professional drifter? Yeah, I do drifting for about six years now and I drive a E46 M3 Turbo with about 800, 850 horsepower. Where Plus, is that car? That car is literally behind us Oh, here. so we're going, going inside next? Yeah, yeah we're Okay, so we have it. a special surprise in this video or maybe another video? Should we do? Yeah, Should we do a separate one? A separate video, definitely. Too. The car is too nice. Yeah. Has, uh, <laughs> it's too much to be said a, for that. Yeah, exactly. has had a lot of work into it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not have well, for a, six years, we worked uh, every year, we changed something. So now it's it's as I, as I want it. Awesome, awesome. Can't wait to see it. Can we start it as well? Yeah, sure. Take it around here yeah. a little bit? Oh, we'll awesome. do that. So, yeah, keep uh, your eyes open for the next video for the M3. Yeah, so really nice classic interior on the BMW. I remember watching uh, a lot of YouTube videos a while back on the M5 and uh, yeah, I'm happy to finally sit in one. This leather is uh, ostrich leather, right? Yeah, ostrich, yeah leather. ostrich leather. Really nice black one. It's all well maintained. Looks like new. It has uh, extended leather. Oh, here, this is an option. Yeah. yeah. All this leather here is an option, okay. Anything else apart from here? That's the well, for the interior, yeah, basically we painted this in uh, anthracite gray, all the the trims, you know. Oh, okay. Were but, they wood effect originally? Um, originally was, I think, the the wood effect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. As you said. Okay. Did you do anything to to the exhaust? No, I, the car is completely standard, apart from um, the big brakes and uh, coilovers. So everything else you see it's how the f it left the factory. appreciate it for what it is as standard as possible you know? so I, yeah. I did i did some modification to upgrade the performance of it but not the looks oh the, yeah the classic yeah exactly you know? so and yeah it's such a nice uh, design on the outside you don't really need to do much to it yeah exactly so you said that uh, you refurbished the underside of the car yeah so basically what happens about two years ago I hit a deer, you know, on the front of the car and I smashed the bonnet and stuff. So what happened, I just kept the car about a year in the garage, uh, refurbishing the whole the whole body. So underneath, it's all uh, welded, new seals. It's protected by about seven layers of uh, like paint and uh, sealant and stuff like that. So it's, I think, better, protected better than the factory BMWs, you know, yeah. So it it's really, really, really clean. yeah, it's, it's clean underneath as well. So it's, it looks like new. It was a big job, you know, it was like one year to, to do it. But it's worth it to preserve the condition of, of such a car. And I see a lot of uh, tire marks here. Well, Is that you're mine. doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
How old is this car? How, what year is it from? Well, it's 99. 99? Yeah, it's from 99. Wow. But here in Mexico, the speed limit is quite high. <laughs> this uh, small village in Mexico has a yeah. limit. <laughs> higher speed limit. <laughs> I'm curious to see how it is if Leonard drives my Clio. Yeah, I'm sure you enjoy it, but yeah, of course that, it's different yeah. cars. That, 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 that thing is scary when it goes fast. Okay, so first time driving the E39 M5. So it's in sport. We're starting in sport. Should we should we put it in normal and then yeah. sport just to see the difference? The only thing with this one, which I kind of like, is that you have power from 2000 RPM, whilst the A92 you probably need to rev it 
more than 4,000 yeah. to feel something, you know? Yeah. It go, goes all the way to 9,000 or something like that. But yeah. this one just has so much usable power when you want to overtake or whatever. You, from 2,000 RPM, you just put your foot down, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I remember um, Raul was telling me, just go, 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 don't, don't change yet. Go, 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 go. Yeah. He was going, just rearing forever. Yeah, I, I had the uh, E92 M3 as well, and I decided to keep this one just because it has low down power, you know. Low down power. Yeah, so I now like we are uh, like 2,000 two revs in second gear. Yeah. At this small village. See, yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. It's really, yeah. it's really there. So let's, let's go third, actually. Let's say you're in third, relaxing. See, the torque. 500 it was. Yeah. It's just going now. Just the <laughs> torque is <laughs> yeah, just there, you know. <laughs> and then it's in sport mode, it has a lot more power, right? Yeah, I will put it in sport mode so we can feel how responsive it is. So actually I will do something like this. You keep it steady at some RPM and I'll, I'll press the sport mode and you'll feel the, the yeah. kick in your back, yeah? Yeah. You see? Yeah, exactly. Now it's not. No. Now it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even barely touch. I mean, it yeah. was the same, same level. Yeah, it was similar with the M3 as well, with the 92. Yeah. It, it doesn't give you more power. It just gives you more response, better response. All right. Okay. <laughs> I know you are a good driver, so... Yeah. You always feel that you're too close to the... To the curb, yeah. To the curb, yeah. Ready for that? <laughs> <laughs>